very interesting question right here we have this email and let's go through it after years of living with letting go i have stumbled across your videos lately i found them super cool. a little bit of lore that's the video i released in another channel which was called e must go 434 and i stopped uploading that channel even though it got really popular because i had this as my main channel i have a rather perfectionistic question about the process perfect <laughs> what's a healthy balance of pure awareness of sensation versus mentally figuring out the payoff now if you look here the only reason if you watch my previous video i stress that oh become aware of the sensations that's arising it's because sensations don't have thoughts don't have feelings so it's easier to notice from a detached place a sensation because it doesn't carry that much information with it however if you're trying to notice your thought or if you're trying to notice a feeling, you might get sucked into that movie. You have to understand that every attachment that we have has a, has a payoff. The, the reason your ego is even existing, it's because there is multiple payoff to different, different attachments at different, different levels. So you could be attached to I, you could be attached to the thoughts, you could be attached to the beliefs, you could be attached to the feelings. And whatever you notice, you transcend. Just like if a fish is in a fishbowl and if it suddenly sees the fishbowl, that means it's out of, it cannot see the fishbowl while also being in the bowl. So the moment you notice something, you transcend it automatically. You don't have to do anything. You just have to notice. The moment you notice, you transcend it. What is the healthy balance of pure awareness versus mentally figuring out ego's payoff? I would suggest become aware of anything that excites you the most if in that moment if it excites you to become aware of the payoff and kind of like explore that a little bit go for it if in this moment you fe feel like exploring feelings go for it the game here is awareness that's where the entire payoff is however how many facets of the soul are you willing to notice and how many facets of the soul are you willing to transcend is completely up to what excites you the most is letting go for you more about allowing yourself to feel the sensation or figuring out the hidden payoff for me i find joy personally in trying to like figure how the process works trying to like figure what is really stopping me and what mechanism is the ego using, which is what my YouTube channel is, right? It excites me the most and I find joy in figuring out what the payoff is. However, even that is a trap and you always have to be mindful of that. There is nothing wrong in figuring out what your payoff is. Even poison is an elixir if you take it in really small doses. However, your ultimate goal is to notice. Even if you allow your sensation to rise up, let's say if you allow the sensation and if you allow the sensation to arise and just be with it and let it run its course and when your state of being changes to that of, oh, I'm detached, you will, f you, will uh, you will understand by default as a consequence what you're holding on to because you're not holding on to it anymore. The only reason you cannot see the payoff is because you're holding on to it. Just like the fish in the fishbowl, the only reason the, the, the only reason that the fish cannot see the fishbowl is because it's inside the fishbowl, right? The moment you allow it and you let it go, just like the fish outside water, it will see, oh, I was actually inside a fishbowl. You'll also similarly see, oh, I was actually holding on to this payoff. Actually, I was holding on to this outcome that I really wanted, but now I'm fine. For example, if we say, let go of anger. Are you allowing yourself to feel the sensation of anger or, or are you figuring out the hidden payoff that you're holding on to anger? And if you have figured out the pleasure out of it and then you're accepting slash giving that up, I think the element that most people don't talk about, especially when you're letting go of real stuff and practically implementing it, it's, the, it's a sense of honesty that is lacking. And what this honesty looks like is you being really, really petty about it. Like really acting like a victim, really acting like a little kid blaming something. This guy did this to me and he did this to me because pa pa pa, he's liar, he's pathetic, he shouldn't have done this. That's being honest. 
Now, don't share it with anyone in the public because they're going to judge you and stuff. But when you're alone processing it, you got to allow your pettiness to come out. You got to allow yourself to be honest. Because when you allow yourself to be honest, that's where the ego kind of fully unfolds. The only time you can bring the darkness to light is through the environment. The thing is, ego cannot look at ego and bring out the darkness within it. The ego kind of uses everything around it, like the people, things, environment, situation as a reflection to then see its own reflection. Just like I cannot see the back of my head right now. I need a mirror. Similarly, the ego cannot see itself without the help of the environment. So you, when you're using the environment, the ego finally gets a chance to see itself. And that is the opportunity you use to be really, really petty, write everything down and as petty as possible, as honest as possible, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're feeling, thinking, write it down. This is where you do the work. And then you ask, then you look at it, let go of it, become aware of the sensation. And when you're a little bit more calm, you can now go for inquiry. Where inquiry goes, is, does it serve me? What am I being attached to? What is the payoff I'm getting from having these expectations from this person? Now you can do the inquiry. So there are stages. If your suffering is maximum, become aware of the sensation, feel it till your state of pain increases. Do breathing exercises. This is the place where you do breathing exercises. 636. Uh, like inhale for 6, hold for 3, exhale for 6. <sighs> inhale from your... Inhale as if you're taking breath from like from the earth, you know. It's like you're pulling air from the earth. Inhale like that. It's called diaphragmatic breathing. You can always watch other videos. Or if you want a tutorial, even I can show it. No problem. Stage number one. And once my suffering is reduced, then and I notice a sensation, I'm now at a place where I can write stuff down and be a little bit conscious to like bring myself to be really, really petty and write everything down. Then once I let it out and I feel a little bit more better, I can look at that and now do the inquiry. Does it... Uh, does this serve me? Hmm? What is the payoff I'm attached to? What is the expectation I'm having of this person? Is the expectation of I'm having, can I let go of it? Would I allow to let go of it? You know, what emotion am I attached to? You know, what, what aspect of my ego does it feed? You can go for self-inquiry. You can ask profound questions. Let's go to the second example. If we say let go of your beloved, if we say let go of your beloved deceased grandma, are you allowing yourself to feel the sensation of related grief or are you finding out hidden payoff that you are <laughs> hidden payoff in grief? <laughs> of course, I feel there is a payoff in grieving. However, if you are because that's a situation you cannot control. Let's say your grandma passed away and you cannot control the situation. Grieve, but grieve fully. Don't grieve half-hazardly. So when you're grieving, grieve fully. Don't try to like grieve in a way where and then also try like to figure out. No. If you're grieving, grieve fully. If you're inquiring, inquire fully. Don't try to do both. And if I'm feeling the sensation of the grief, I'll just allow myself to feel the grief. There's like stages of grief, right? There are like five stages or seven stages of grief. Literally, you feel through the stages and you move up. And during its entire process, if you want to be really conscious about letting go and really use this as an opportunity to improve your soul or improve your consciousness, just notice yourself grieving. Letting go is not a process of taking control of the suffering. Letting go is a process of noticing the suffering. You're not doing anything. And that is, I think, the really hard part. We always do something with it. We try to influence even the grief suffering. 
but letting go is really the process of not doing anything you're just noticing you're just noticing different different facets of what's happening and every time you notice you transcend does that make sense these are my thoughts about it let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions or follow up question did this even make sense let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video oh of course guys like subscribe share uh it really helps with the algorithm promotes the video i'll see you guys in the next video